Do you have a voice inside your head that's always holding you back, preventing you from taking needed action to achieve the success, happiness and wealth that you're destined for? Well, in four simple steps, I can tell you how to change it. Let me tell you a story. This is George. And this is George's friend, Fred. Fred is a pretty paranoid guy. He's unambitious and can be pretty negative. George is the opposite, however. He's upbeat, positive and ambitious. In fact, George is so ambitious that he's thinking about leaving his regular job and starting his own online business. One afternoon, he decided to tell Fred his plans. Fred doesn't like the idea. You should stay in your job, Fred says. Stay comfortable. That way, you'll keep your health insurance and your pension. And don't forget, you have security if you stay in your full-time job. George agrees with Fred. It's probably safer that he doesn't make this move. Later, George can't help bringing it up again. He talks to Fred about how he'd like to leave his job and start his own business. And Fred responds, Well, what if it doesn't work? You could potentially lose a lot of money, you know, and the chances of you succeeding are very small. Most new businesses go bankrupt within a year. It's way too risky. George agrees with Fred once more. It was a crazy idea in the first place. Later on, George and Fred are in a coffee shop and a local successful entrepreneur enters. And as she passes, she says hello to George. And George thinks for a moment and says to Fred, maybe I should go over there and introduce myself to her. Maybe she'd be able to help me with some advice in starting my own business. Fred says, she won't have time to talk to you. And anyway, why would she help you? She'll see right away that you don't have what it takes to succeed as a business owner. And once again, George reluctantly agrees. Now, you may be thinking that Fred doesn't sound like a very encouraging friend to George. In which case, you'd be right. He's not a good friend to George at all. In fact, Fred is not George's friend. He is actually the voice inside George's head. You see, we all have our own version of Fred inside our heads. We all have an inner dialogue that discourages us not to do new things or take chances. But why would this be? Why would we have a voice inside our heads that discourages us instead of encouraging us to try new things? Well, the reason is because your inner voice is your lizard brain talking. We all have a lizard brain. In terms of human evolution, it's part of the ancient brain and it's still with us. It doesn't involve itself with feelings or rational thought. It only cares about one thing, your survival. In the old prehistoric days, this may have involved protecting you from the threat of predators. Today, we have no predators, but your lizard brain is still wired that way. Today, the threats could be potential failure or stress, and for this reason, it wants to stop you from doing new things. This may sound crazy, but it does this because it views these things as a threat to your safety, so it talks you out of doing them. In an effort to keep you exactly where you are, nice and safe and comfortable, your lizard brain loves to use tactics like exaggerating to get you to pay attention. For example, when you're about to do something that scares you and you tell yourself how terrible this is going to be, and then you actually do it, well, you realize that it was nowhere near as bad as you'd made it out to be in your head. Well, that was your lizard brain exaggerating. Another tactic our lizard brain employs to prevent us from leaving our comfort zones is to discourage us, knocking down our self-confidence. It loves to fill us with doubt, telling us we don't have the skill, the knowledge or the ability to do something. So we remain safe and comfortable and stuck. And finally, our lizard brain often defaults to telling us why we can't do things like, I can't do that because I don't have the right education or I'm too young or I'm too old. In most cases, this self-talk happens automatically and most of us don't even question it. But now it's time for you to notice this. If your self-talk is not helping you, then here are four steps to changing it. Step one, begin to pay attention to your self-talk. Never let words slip by in your mind without first considering what their effect could be on you. For example, 
If you hear in your mind those immortal words, I'm not good enough, stop and recognize how this negatively affects your self-confidence and replace it with something more empowering like, I deserve this. Step two, acknowledge the exaggeration. Recognize that your inner talk is rarely correct in its assessment of anything. The reality of any situation will always be less dramatic than your lizard brain makes it out to be. Learn to ignore the exaggerating voice inside your head and just do what you need to do anyway. Recognize that you must take action or nothing will change in your life. Don't let your inner voice talk you out of doing anything that's important. Step 3. Train your inner voice to be more encouraging. When your inner voice says, I'm so stupid, replace it with, I did something stupid. We can all do stupid things, but that doesn't actually mean that you are a stupid person. If you hear your inner voice saying, the best opportunities happen to others, then instead, replace that with, why not me? And finally, step four, ask yourself empowering questions instead of repeating disempowering statements. For example, if you say to yourself, I can't achieve what they've done, well, this sounds like a statement saying there is no path forward and there's nothing you can do to change that. So instead, turn this into a question and ask yourself, how can I achieve what they've done? This changes your perspective, suggesting there is a way forward and it activates the creative centers of the mind to look for solutions to the problem. You should practice this with the phrase that many of us all too often repeat to ourselves, which is, I can't afford it. And instead, ask yourself, how can I afford it? Instead of saying I don't have time, ask yourself, how can I find the time? So, follow these four steps to make the change happen because your inner talk should be your best friend, a kind, encouraging friend. You should very carefully choose the words spoken inside your head because there's somebody very important listening. You. Your inner words should be empowering, encouraging, and ultimately telling you to engage in the action that you need to take to get what you want in life. There's so many things that you can't influence in this life, but what you say in your own head is something that you can control. You decide what is said, you decide what is true and what is false. You decide what's repeated and affirmed. This is in your control and your control only. Don't leave it unguarded. Do not let repeated disempowering phrases drain your confidence or stop you from taking necessary action. By training your inner talk to be empowering, the turnaround in your life and your happiness will be nothing short of miraculous. If you like our videos, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to get reminded so that you can watch our future videos as we release them. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below.